Uh, today was great. It's certainly more upbeat than it was yesterday because of uh, Hurricane Gustav. There. In many ways, John Barella is a typical delegate. He's a businessman who emphasizes fiscal conservatism. He lives and works in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and represents a small but potentially crucial voting bloc for the Republican Party. I am very proud of my background. I'm extremely proud to be Hispanic. Uh, ex extremely proud to have some roots from uh, my family in Mexico. His heritage gives him a unique perspective on immigration, one of this year's most hot-button issues. It's a very complex uh, issue. It's not as easy as let's put up a border fence and, and keep the people out. And I take a little more moderate stand on the immigration debate than some, uh, some conservative folks. I consider myself a conservative, certainly when it comes to fiscal policies. I'm as conservative as you'll find. That being said, um, I would venture to guess that many of the people that took a hard line stance on immigration never been within 100 miles of the Mexican border and they don't understand the issue. The issue has helped lead him towards one candidate, John McCain. I'm on the far right. This immigration issue almost sunk him, almost dead-ended his presidential campaign. I admire what he's done and, and, and the efforts he has taken to reach out to Hispanics. <laughs> I feel at home. I feel at home in his campaign. I have not felt at home uh, in a campaign like this in a long, long time. That's why I'm so energized over this. Although Mr. McCain has recently tried to downplay immigration because of disagreements with many in his own party, it doesn't seem to have dampened Mr. Borella's support for the Arizona senator. We're in the infrastructure stage now. We're putting in the utilities. He's a land developer whose current project is a small Albuquerque subdivision trying to push the envelope on energy efficiency. In many ways, the range of issues that are important to him, not to mention his geographic proximity to Arizona, makes him one of Mr. McCain's most natural supporters. New Mexicans, probably like other voters across the country, have to feel like they know the person. And I think that's the issue that's driving their support for Senator McCain. The McCain campaign is hoping that the reasons Mr. Barella is voting Republican will also apply to other Latino voters. It's both a potential McCain strength and Obama weakness. For instance, in the New Mexico primary, Barack Obama lost by over 20 points amongst Latino voters. Once the primary season was over, it was one of the first places Hillary Clinton went on his behalf. I think Senator McCain is going to carry this state. I'm, 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 the polls are just about even here in New Mexico. and. Uh, you know, I, I think it's, it's, it's going to be his. I really believe that in my heart of hearts. Who since the age of 17. Not incidentally, Mr. Barella and the New Mexico delegation have prime seats at the convention, and he's here for his candidate, Mr. McCain. His feelings on President Bush, however, are more complicated. So the early convention disruptions that led to the president addressing the convention remotely haven't been a problem. The focus of this convention is nominating the next president of the United States, and that is John McCain. 